doctor, give me the news. And coming up, what's the best treatment for scars that won't stop growing? We'll show you next. Thanks, guys. Think, well, this could happen just from getting your ears pierced. Well, and that's so typical for younger women who get their ears pierced. In this case, they've just made a probe. And when we insert the probe in the center of the keloid, as you can see here, it freezes it from the inside out. When I was in high school, I had gauges in my ears for a couple of years. Then, when I took them out and the holes closed up, I got these lumps growing in the back of my earlobes. They look gross. It's embarrassing. That was Stephanie, who has large keloids that she wants taken care of once and for all. She's backstage. We're going to introduce you to her in just a minute. But before we do, really quickly, let's talk about what these keloids are. Well, you know, what, what it is is excessive scarring. Now, it's a continuum. Your body is, is, is repairing itself after an injury, after surgery. Typically, it, it heals with a nice straight scar, right? If it thickens, it becomes a hypertrophic scar. Now, that even gets bigger beyond that if the scar grows almost like a tumor beyond the original footprint of that injury, it becomes a keloid. So it, it's not only a thickened scar, but it, it's like a mass that's grown. And what it is just the body overproducing scar tissue, primarily collagen, in that area. But it's tough to treat. And Stephanie's backstage with board-certified dermatologist Dr. Sandra Lee. And Dr. Lee, you're going to be using a new type of treatment on this? Right. This is a new device called the CryoShape. And what is so neat about this is it really takes one of the concepts that we already have. We have used cryogen, which is liquid nitrogen. It's over 300 below Fahrenheit. And we usually have, in the past, tried to freeze keloids, but we can't get to those cells down deep. And so in this case, they've just made a probe. And when we insert the probe in the center of the keloid, as you can see here, it freezes it from the inside out radially. So you're really getting to all of those cells. And it's just so cool. It's kind of like that kind of thing where I'm, why didn't I think of that, and, you know? And, and Dr. Lee, you yes. and I, we both treat keloids all the right. time. And I'm going to get into some of the other options. But in your hands now, are you really excited about this yes. new type of treatment? Yes, because it's painless. I mean, we put a little numbing there locally, but she does not feel it. Um, and it's really inducing frostbite to the entire keloid. And it really kind of stops right at the edge of the um, regular skin. It's sort of a heat barrier because there's a different temperature of the keloid as your normal skin. And so um, it's painless. It usually takes one treatment. I think 97% of patients in a study had no recurrence at 18 months. So as we know, it's, they're very stubborn. They can be difficult to treat. And this may be a terrible analogy, but much like someone who's had frostbite, their fingers won't come off right away. But no. if they've had yes. severe frostbite, eventually that part that was frostbitten falls off. So yes. will that eventually, the keloid will just fall off? Yeah, what usually happens is either it'll turn black and kind of fall off over the next couple of weeks, or it will shrivel up like, a, like from a grape to a raisin. And um, like I said, just one treatment. I mean, how fabulous is that? Well, this, this could be a great, you know, uh, addition to what we have because for scars in general, we have various treatments. Putting silicone sheeting is one way that if you have a raised mm -hmm. scar, you can place it on that incision. Other ways, we inject steroids into those. We do that on keloids very often uh, as they're growing. A lot of times after we've excised them with the scalpel, we will also add the steroid into it. There's also sheets that you can get over the counter. If you see that you have a scar that's starting to thicken, that you don't like the look of it, obviously ask your doctor first, but these things may help. And then finally, uh, Dr. Lee was nice enough to give us another one of the same okay. device, but you'll see the, uh, the probe here yeah, it's, is it's, going to freeze up. You see it's almost there. As you can see, you can see it's frostbite. This is a probe where it shoots the liquid nitrogen right into this little probe, and we insert it into the center. And you can see it induces frostbite, um, anything that comes into contact with it. And that's why I use these sponges, these gauzes, to kind of protect the normal skin. And we're almost there. Just the edge of it needs to freeze. And After this, it'll just thaw, and I can remove the probe, and she can go home. And Steph, you're feeling good? I am feeling great. Yes, I'm excited about excited this. Excited to see these gone. And this is a cool treatment because, like you said, you can cut one away, but it may just come back. So this right. is, this is, sounds like a much more foolproof in terms of preventing the reoccurrence. In your hands, Dr. Lee, what, what is the chances of recurrence? 
Uh, I haven't seen any recurrences yet. So this is... Well, Stephanie, we wish you the best of luck. Thank you so much for joining us, Dr. Lee. Thank you. And we will be right back.